So, here's a slide called Going to the Well for Water. We can have some fun with the basses, uh, especially in the second part of this tune. Let's learn the tune part by part. This is for Anthony, who requested something <clears throat> on the goofy end of the spectrum. these jumps one six from A to F sharp here. Now the second part, uh, so many different ways that you could play it. Uh, if you were to play, I think let's uh, let's start by doing what we did in the first part of, and both first and uh, third parts actually of Mary Lickis the Quaker, which is to play something like this. But let's do it without the grace note to start with, so we get the, the bellows thing happening. We can put the grace note in there, but get the bellows thing happening first, and then when you put the grace note in, the bellows thing is still happening. Now that would be the full rundown, but of course... permutations are possible, but even if you're playing the get that pulse happening there. So now the last part, G B B F sharp A Octave. So there's the whole tune. Now let's look at what we can do with the bass, especially in the first, uh, second part, I would say. Now, this probably suits. We only need three chords here, which are D, A, and G. So it probably is easy to play the basses if you are If you're not playing this. So play. Now 
Now, to make that more interesting, when we get down to the... Try this, use the bass notes only. That's F sharp, so you're following the melody with the bass. We're doing that we're staying with the same chords but of course this is a G chord F sharp is part of the D chord E is part of the A chord and you can make it even more interesting by alternating the bass now G D some fun with this tune. There we go. Go to the well for water. I'll just play the tune without basses a couple of times. <laughs> 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 